Hello there, it's I, the Geordie Nerd, and I am back again with another video, Trailer Park Boys Season 5, Episode 7. In the last episode, the guy in the chair is now no longer in the chair, because he's in jail, I believe. Uh, yeah, um, link is in the description for the Patreon, if you want to help support the channel, and all my other social media links are down below as well. And my, um, second channel with a friend, Geordie Media, link is down below for that. Please go and subscribe over there, um, it's a podcast in video format, or oh, oh, in podcast format, um, and yeah, it's, it's really good fun. We'll have a laugh and we'll discuss a lot of things. Um, so yeah, definitely go check that out. That's all I'll say. Um, and yeah, let's just get into this now and have some fun. I thought we were trying to sell it to Julian. Listen, at the price I'm asking, no one in their right mind's going to buy it. Julian is never going to let his grandmother's trailer be sold on the open market. We keep raising the price. Julian's going to have to raise more money to buy it. And the only way Julian can raise money is breaking the law, Randy. Breaking it. The law, Randy. Breaking the law. He is gunning for them. And it's all because he got found out he was still drinking. And I'm all for it. I'm really excited to see where this goes. Hey, Ricky. How's it going, Rick? I'll tell you how it's going. I saw the old man in jail. He's fucking losing it. I start selling hash, bud. I gotta bail him out. It's gonna be about five grand, so. Oh, I saw it at old folks' homes, Ricky, fucking Ricky, dental Ricky, colleges, Ricky. go door to door, churches, listen, whatever it listen, takes, buddy. Listen, stop cutting the hash, okay? Julian! I'm, we're not gonna sell it this way, Ricky. Ricky, the boy. I gotta get him out of boys, fucking boys. jail! Here comes Lee. Here comes Lee. Lee. So, is it gonna become this thing where he won't sell it for um, Ricky's dad to get out of jail, but he will sell it so he can buy the, the caravan? The Is it a caravan? His house. Start ripping the stuff and going door to door, you're gonna get caught. And Leahy's gonna be the one to catch us. Don't even fucking mention Leahy's name right now, right? It's his fucking fault. I'm in the situation. Son of a bitch, prick, idiot, drunk fuck. Ugh. Where do you wanna sell it? Where did you sell the most dope ever in your whole life, Ricky? Where did you make the most money? Jail. One of the best things about school, from my perspective, is that everybody smokes dope, see? So Ah, okay, I thought he was going to say in jail, because I know that in, in jail weed, it, it goes, well, for any drugs, goes for a lot more than it does out on the street. Well, Julian's been all paranoid lately with fucking Leahy and all these books he's reading, for fuck's sakes, that he says it's too risky for me to have a bunch of hash on me around schools to do these random searches, so he used this big smart thinking stuff to come up with this new plan where basically I just take orders for hash in the daytime, get people's locker numbers and combinations. That is smart, though. Did you see that shake? I don't know if you were able to see that back in the video, but the camera shook. That was because a bus went past my house and shook my whole house. That's how close it got to my house. You go to school to learn or you go to school to sell drugs, and Ricky's here to sell <laughs> drugs. I mean, maybe if it was under different circumstances, he could learn something, but... I mean, to be fair, I went to school to make me friends laugh and play basketball, and sometimes I'd go in at break time go home, come back and have me dinner for free, and then go home. And yeah, I, I was, no, I didn't do very well in school. I'm, I'm probably like getting into my microphone, like telling you a story. It's because I'm on a podcast, Jordy Media, with my friend, and those microphones are different to this, so you have to you know, talk like this. Uh, but yeah, I, did, I didn't do much of the school, like, I was really bad at school. I'm smarter now, I'm, I, probably. Look, I just want to basically come to your school and do some book learning, okay? I've only got my grade 10, which I don't think is a big deal. Some people might. My dad just got thrown in jail, so I need to get some shit going here with a job and stuff. So basically, you know, a lot of people might say I'm stupid. I don't know. I don't think I am. Like, I'm probably smarter than that. I mean, this thing here is smarter than me, I guess, but it has a battery. And I give you a little bit of this stuff to basically say that I've got the job and give me one of those jackets right over there. I want Ricky on the sleeve and grade 10 on the other sleeve. Well, basically, I couldn't get into school. The school already started. It's bullshit, so I made a little deal with this guy and got a job as a janitor so now i'm kind of pretending to go to school here and as far as everybody knows i do go to school here i got a fucking jacket and you know i'm gonna tell lucy and everybody that i am going to school it's a big deal something so a little bit of weed and he got the job nice 
What's wrong with reading books? Nothing wrong with reading books, but there's only one book that counts, Julian. It's the Bible. It says to help your friends. Oh, does it say anything about you ripping off insurance companies, pretending you're in a wheelchair, and then getting caught drunk, dancing with hoes, making porn flicks? Huh? Anything in your book about that, Ray? It's open to interpretation, Julian. It's the Bible. I was literally about to say, well, it's open to interpretation, isn't it? So you can take, you can pick and choose what you want. That's that's the joy of like people who really, really love the Bible. Bob's, get some. Bob's, Bob's, they're gonna be in there for three or four years. Fuck those guys, all right? More concerned about fucking lady. He's not in jail. Yeah, and he's drunk and fucking crazier than ever. Uh, so I knew, I knew it would become a thing where he's just like, well, no, I'm, I'm getting my trailer back. I mean, it makes sense because it, it means something to him, but I mean, kind of Ricky's dad means something to Ricky as well. Ricky's doing awesome. I've never seen him doing better. You know, he got his grade 10. Awesome. And now he's going forward. He's going to community college. He's you making a man so of himself. so in love with him. It's not so, that big a deal. It's not that big a deal. No. Do you know anyone who's gone to community college? <sighs> name one person. I can name one person who goes to jail every year. <laughs> Ricky. <laughs> That is funny, but in all seriousness, seriousness, legitimately, if you're doing it legitimately, it is a big deal when someone tries to better themselves. So, yes, no matter how small it is, it's always a big deal when, like, how small the thing they do is. It's always a big deal when someone tries to better themselves. I genuinely believe that. So, I mean, I'm going to suggest to Lucy that maybe we get back together. And I'd like to get a trailer once we sell all this dope. Maybe we can move in together. I don't know. I think it'd be great for all of us to be a family again. I'm a good cook. I can teach Trini how to cook. Teach her about some small ones right here and stuff. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Wilson. Let's the there. Cool. I'm just going to grab those if you don't want. Thanks. Wow. Shelves held together by duct tape. Really, really good. Um, Yeah. Wow. It's working. How long for? We don't know. This episode, probably, but it's working. Listen, Bobs, hear that? The sounds of the whispering winds of shit. <laughs> what the fuck are you going on about? Can you hear it? No, I don't hear anything. Oh, but you will, my sorry little friend, when the old shit barometer rises and you'll feel it too. Beware, my friend. Shit winds are a coming. The winds of shit. <laughs> Boys, listen. Those are the shit winds lady like was talking about. There's no fucking shit winds or winds of shit, bubs. <laughs> Worry about that. Well, there's some kind of fucking wind blowing. Listen to Lee. He's drunk and he's fucking insane, man. I would genuinely love to see like a horror version, like a comedy episode, obviously. But like in, in a horror environment, because I think it would be genuinely great. Julian, there's a bag of chips in here. Do you think it'd be a big deal if I talk some? Fucking take them, man. <laughs> I mean, he's literally breaking into a school. Taking some chips is nothing. I could have fallen down, tripped over myself, I don't know, gun went off, pissed on myself. Gun's fucking going off big time. Or ghosts. There's fucking ghosts in here. Ricky, fuck. The fucking arrow flash by itself, man. They're supposed to flash, Ricky. Since when? Let's get out of here. <laughs> I didn't put all the house in lock. It doesn't matter. Let's go. Come on. What about the customers? I love the fact. <coughs> oh, I love. Jeez, I mean, COVID is no joke, man. Really. I love the fact that the toilet flushed himself and he just started blasting up the bathroom. Ghosts are already dead, mate. You know, you kind of lied about it, but I think it's cool that you were trying to take care of Tran and try to impress us. So, I'm, you yeah. know, I'm not mad. Yeah, you know what? It's almost like so pathetic that it's kind of sweet. Really? Yeah, yeah. Thanks, guys. It's cool. I would much rather have a dad who worked as a janitor and provided for his family than a father who fucks off and doesn't provide for his family and leaves his children asking questions like why what why didn't you want us and shit like that. So it's not pathetic, it's fucking honourable as shit. I mean yes, I know he's not doing it for an honourable thing, but still, to his kid, that's what it is. A great episode. This season has been fantastic. I think so far, this is my favourite season. I'm really, really enjoying it. I, I'm loving the fact that Leahy's on this revenge 
kick and he, he's trying to fuck them all over it's obviously going to end with him going to jail but i'm all for it i cannot wait to see where it goes thank you as ever for your support on these reaction videos and i'll see you all again very soon for more trailer park boys